SAT or ACT review problem dealing with probability. We want to find the probability of getting two heads and two tails when we toss four coins. And what we're going to do on this problem, we're going to use the binomial expansion. Since we have four coins, we're going to do uh, a plus b to the fourth. And we're going to expand that. And we're going to come up with the probability for this. Uh, assuming that the probability of getting each one is 50-50, one half for heads, one half for tails. So if we expand that, you're going to have a to the fourth. You're going to have an a cubed. You're going to have an a squared, an a to the first, and an a to the zero. That's five terms. So it's always one more than the exponent. So there's five terms in the expansion. You're also going to have a b to the zero, a b to the first, a b squared, and a b cubed, and a b to the fourth. And then for the coefficients, you can use Pascal's triangle, or you can take combinations. Uh, four things taken four at a time, four things taken three at a time, four things taken two at a time. There's six combinations there. And then this will be four, and this will be one by symmetry. So you see the symmetry there? OK, so what we're interested in is this one right here. So we want to focus on this term right here, because this one represents uh, two heads and two tails. So the probability of getting heads is 1 half. So I'm going to have on that one. So I'm still doing that. Let me put this down. Okay, so the probability, you're going to have 6, and then A is going to be 1 half squared, and B is going to be 1 half squared, and so you're going to have 6 times 1 fourth times 1 fourth, that's 6 over 16, which is 3 out of 8. So the probability of getting two heads and two tails is 3 eighths. And you could do the same thing for the rest of them. Uh, this would be 4 out of 16, and this would be 4 out of 16. This one was 6 out of 16, and this would be 1 out of 16, and this is 1 out of 16. And if you add those together, 1 16, 4 16, 6 16, another 4 16, another 1 16, you get what? 16, 16, which is 100%. And that covers all the possibilities, because when you toss four coins, you could get Four heads, no tails. You could get three heads, one tail, two and two, one and three, or zero and four. So the answer for this problem was three, three eighths.